My name is Mahmoud Wardere and I was born and raised in Somalia. I was trained to be air traffic controller for Somali airports. I used to see the UNHCR office in Mogadishu glass window for the notice which had a slogan that says everybody can be a refugee. It only takes natural disaster or man-made disaster. It was hard for me to believe. I used to stop by and see every day this world and reflect and think. That time, Somalia was very peaceful, especially the area I was. I could not imagine. I saw immediately man-made disaster. It was terrible. When the Somali civil war happened, I was in Mogadishu, the capital city of Somalia. Most of the people had to flee. The image that stayed with me for a long time was the seniors that could not run or could not walk. Their children had to carry them. You will be amazed how many seniors who have been kept at home have been exposed to the problem. After the Somali Civil War, I immigrated from Somalia to the United States in 1993. I lived two years in Washington, D.C., then moved to Minnesota by train in the summer of 1995. Shortly, there was a bus strike and no bus was available to ride. Then I walked to and from my Minnesota job in the mailroom as a mail sorter. I worked for Minneapolis Public Schools for seven years and a half as a bilingual school community liaison. During that time, I organized annual Somali Education Night events where I brought motivational speakers and community leaders, educators, students, parents together to encourage students to succeed in education. In addition to that speakers, I invited colleges to do college fair. In 2001, I ran for Minneapolis mayor. The primary date started normal in the morning and my name was in 150 polling place in Minneapolis. That day was September 11, 2001. Then the tragedy happened in New York, the election day in Minnesota. It was almost canceled, but Minnesota continued. Although I lost the election in the primary, I found myself being seen in the community as an emerging leader. I was the first Somali American who ever ran for public office, not only in Minnesota, but the whole United States of America. In 2001, Minneapolis issue that were hot and all candidates were addressing were like this. Number one, improving police and community relations. Number two, creating and advocating for more affordable housing. I continued my advocacy for the community, but at this time, I worked through the system. I joined as a staff for a former Minnesota Senator, Norm Coleman, where I worked immigration and other cases for six years and a half. Senator Norm Coleman did not win the re-election, and the recount process took almost six months. When the court declared that my boss lost, I moved to a small town called Fairball, where I run small, convenient grocery business. It did not work for me, so I sold that business and came back to the Twin Cities. I developed an interest of developing affordable housing. So I joined Common Band Communities, which is the largest affordable housing developer in Minnesota, Iowa, and Wisconsin, too. Currently, I work for Common Band Communities as an Advantage Service Specialist. That means I connect residents with the resource and volunteers to reach their goals. I am married with four children.